announcer, Mark Prado. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here from the center of the ring at the Paramount in Huntington, Long Island. This is Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing on Facebook, Fight Night Live. This contest is scheduled for six rounds in the junior middleweight division. It's brought to you by Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing and presented by Modell Sporting Goods, The Inn at Fox Hollow, Camelot Limousine, WBAB Radio 1023. Mr. Custom Made, knock out your favorite look at mrcustommade.com. Elite Heat Water and Ball Wash, who reminds you to keep the funk off your junk. The judges for this contest are James Kinney, Anthony Paolillo, and John Basili. And controlling the action at the sound of the bell, the referee in charge is Patrick Sullivan. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 151.6 pounds. He owns an impressive professional record consisting of 13 victories, three defeats and two draws. Ten of those wins coming by way of knockout. Wearing red, trimmed with white, and fighting out of Santos, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alex Carreca de Jesus. And ladies and gentlemen, his undefeated opponent fights across the ring out of the red corner. He weighed in at 151.6 pounds. His professional record consists of six bouts, six victories, three wins coming by way of knockout. Wearing blue and white this evening and hailing from Elmont, New York. He is the jackpot. Tyrone, pretty boy, James. Alright, respect the sport, respect the rules, and most of all, show respect for each other. Touch gloves, come out, finding out the bell. Six round junior middleweights, Tyrone Pretty Boy James. Six and oh, three knockouts taking on Alex De Jesus. 13, three and two, ten knockouts. Mark Games ringside with the two time New York City Golden Gloves winner, Cara Castronova. Yeah, and I'm saying, th like I said earlier, this is a nice step up fight for Tyrone James. You know, this guy, um, De Jesus, he comes in here with 13 wins. I mean, 13 wins and three losses. That's a good record. De Jesus coming out aggressive, tries to land a combination on the ropes. De Jesus in the red, James in the blue and white. De Jesus, a 37 year old, uh, he's been a pro for about six years now. Third fight in the USA. His last fight, he was stopped in three by uh, former National Golden Gloves champion LaShawn Rodriguez. That took place on November 25th at the Theater of Madison Square Garden. And he's coming off. It seems that he's coming off. Well, how many, well, you said he was coming off um, so he's a two, loss. Two straight okay. losses. Coming off two straight knockouts. So th three losses in his last four fights. Alexey De Jesus. See, De Jesus coming for but not doing anything. It leaves himself to get hit by two lefts in the body. Yeah, I spoke to uh, Tyrone last last night, and I, he told me, "Look out for that hook to the body." I'm going to throw a lot of those left hooks to the body, which he just threw a double left hook to the body. So, I guess he was calling his own fight. He has a nice style. I enjoy watching him fight. I mean, 
I would love to see him throw more punches, and I think as he develops, that's going to happen. Um, he likes to pick his shots, you know, and he told me that he considers himself to be like a chess player, thinking more than the average boxer in there, which I think is definitely true. You can see he's kind of calculating in there. He's thinking before he throws punches. He's analyzing this guy. He's not just jumping in there and, and throwing haymakers. And James is just relaxing. He's, he's got the height and the reach. Definitely the bigger man in this uh, bout. He tries to land a jab to the body. Doesn't really leave himself open. You gotta say that much. I mean, the guy also comes with not throw. He doesn't throw as many punches. There was a nice left hook to the body and to the yeah, head to the head hook, body hook. One of my favorite combinations. Oh. Yeah, Jesus may have oh, landed man. a right and drove James to the ropes. He's frustrated, De Jesus. Is. Tyrone James is a frustrating fighter, and if you want to, if you want to get on him, you might have to jump on him and throw down. But De Jesus now has a little bit of confidence as he oh, lands another right that. hand. I mean, he's, he just wants to get at James. Good action as we come to the end of round one, scheduled for six. Alex DeJesus and Tyrone James. See, the, like I said, Mark, I think, uh, like, you know, this is a really great opportunity fight for Tyrone James to grow. He was just on the ropes there covering up nicely. I mean, De Jesus wasn't really landing any shots on him, but I would love to see him punching off those combinations. You know, he's covering up, and, like, when it touches his glove, just punch back, throw back, counter punch. Uh, you know, if he could do that in the next coming rounds, I think he could really, you know, get this would be great preparation for him. For, you know, future fights that are of a higher caliber, which he's definitely go going to go for one day. You see some of the action here in round one. You see James... Early in the round, Lenny, the nice combinations. That's a really beautiful left hook to the body, head body. That was kind of a half grazing blow, half balance shot that drove James back. There, that right hand got through. Yeah, he caught him over there. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a, a strong shot. It wasn't really flush, but he, he caught him. Round two, scheduled for six rounds. Jab from De Jesus, a little short. See, I'm curious what Joe Higgins was telling him in the corner, um, Tyrone James' trainer. You know, what, what kind of instruction he was giving him, what he was telling him to like sort of change up and try to, what, what to stick to. Well, stick to whatever was working for the first two minutes of the round. Land those nice combinations. They, they had body combinations as he gets away from that right hand. A couple of... Uh, Two of the finest female fighters in New York City join us, Nydia Feliciano and Keisha McLeod. Keisha McLeod, definitely former world champion, like so many Golden Gloves she's won. Definitely one of my favorite fighters out there, females. As you see, De Jesus. Great, and he has such a great physique, Tyrone James. He really does. I mean, he has that reach going for him. He has those legs that just carry him around the ring. The Jesus gets in a little right, tries to follow the left and a right to the body uppercut from James. See, the thing with James, I gotta give him credit. When he throws a shot, he makes that shot count. The sharp shot, it's a nasty, like, it's like a razor almost, those shots that land. He doesn't throw a lot of combinations, but the shots that he does land, are, are, you know, they're sharp punches. Body shot, that was a good body shot from James and it follows up with a right to the body. Doesn't really waste energy. You know, I, I, the majority of the punches that James throws lands. So he's not throwing anything in vain. Again, that left hook to the body is beautiful, really. And he has the perfect physique for that punch. That's just that long arm that wraps around. You know, right to the liver. Left by De Jesus. There's a hard left to the body and a left to that. De Jesus is now claiming that the first shot was low. Did you see it? I didn't see that mark. Was it a low blow? Or? And, uh, the way it was, 
position the way De Jesus was positioned. I thought that caught him nicely on the belt line. Hard body shot again. Those have to start taking their toll after a while. Like he's the call low blow, but you never know. It could be just those body shots wearing him down. He needs a break. That shot to the body, I don't think he can go much longer if he gets it with another two. Those, those just take your legs right off you. Nope. Now he's going after the head is Tyrone James. A hard right. And a combination, another body shot right from Tyrone James. He is just going to get saved by the bell in this one. Definitely saved by the bell. Uh, another 20 seconds, he's going to get in some trouble there. Joe Higgins getting into it with the ref about the low blow. Joe Higgins definitely one of the best trainers in New York. I mean, definitely uh, a legendary trainer. I, I have a lot of respect for him. I don't know if you know much about him, Mark, but he trains out of free, but he's a former firefighter. He's like that really tough guy. And, and Tyrone James, go ahead with the, the you know, what we're looking at. Uh, you know, he's punching through his gloves and not really landing anything, not landing anything flush. Tyrone James is just coming back in with that beautiful left hook to the body that we get keep talking about. It's like artistic, okay? Now here is the, uh, this happened right in front of us. Yeah, that was a little low. You could low. call it a low blow, you could. He could. The second one wasn't a low blow. The first one you could call that a low blow. Just depends on where you're looking at it from. Let's see if the body work, a couple of them may have gone a little low. It starts to take effect on Alex De Jesus. Definitely a frustrated guy to fight Tyrone James. I, want, I feel bad for anybody fighting him because you can't really reach him. It's hard, and you have to expose yourself. You have to throw yourself in there before you reach this guy. Put yourself up for like a lot of danger. James going back downstairs with the left hook to the body. And right over the top. And De Jesus is, I think De Jesus is starting to wilt a little bit here in round three. Nice movement. I like that movement by Tyron James. I mean, he's not throwing much off of it, but it just, you know, I love when guys move laterally. There's a good right hand from James. If he would throw, you know, he's a really great fighter, and I think he's really sharp, and I think if he starts throwing just a little bit more punches, he's going to really, really go far. I mean, he is going to go far already, but just throw a little bit more punches, and he's going to be one of the best out there. A straight right hand from Tyron James. De Jesus trying to bore his way in. He got caught with a little left hook. And a hard oh, left there you hook go. locks James, and he is hurt in the corner. And Alex De Jesus. He unleashed it. De Jesus got rocked, and the fight is over. Nice stoppage by Tyrone James. Flush left hook. Score win number seven. Stoppage number four for the jackpot. Yep. Pretty boy Tyrone James is the name. And as Joe DeGuardi said, he's a he's a kid now to be to look out for as well. So two impressive performances by some of the young Long Island fighters tonight, Wendy Toussaint and Tyrone James. And Tyrone James sticks out to me, stands out to me in uh, amongst Joe's fighters. I think he's special. You know, I think he has a lot of room. He's growing still, but I do think he's a special fighter, and I think if he's brought up the right way, he will go far. Like, he's definitely a special fighter. Just his aura, the way he carries himself. He's full, you know, he's athletic. He has that built about him. He has all this, you know, he has this energy he brings to the ring that you definitely feel here at ringside. Terrific victory being a grizzled veteran from Brazil. Tyrone James gets win number seven. 
Lucky number seven, Carol. Guess so. Take a look at Tyrone James. Got a lot of supporters here tonight. As he gets win number seven, and uh, we're ready for the time of that, let's go up the ring announcer, Mark Prado. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee in charge of the action, Patrick Sullivan, calls for a halt to the contest. Your official time, one minute, 45 seconds in round number three. Your winner by TKO and still undefeated, the fighting pride of Elmont, New York, the jackpot, Tyrone, pretty boy, James. There you have it. Tyrone James is from Elmont. That's where I'm from. You know, under, Elmont is so underrated. They, <laughs> they, they just breed fighters there, I don't know, they? I know, the best fighters. Must be something in the water. I think so. And that's his son he was telling me about. He has a seven-year-old and he has a two-year-old. And his seven-year-old uh, actually is afraid to come watch him fight, whereas his two, -year -old, two or three-year-old likes to come watch him fight. I thought that was really cute that his older child is actually... <laughs> gets nervous come to see him but his little as little as kid loves to watch him fight there's the left hook that started everything that drove the jesus back and then the combination referee patrick solomon looked closely and really didn't see any fight back from the jesus and you know wisely stepped in i think there's a that shot was a pretty concussive blow there and tyrone james gets win number seven knockout number four we are almost ready for our main event